Hey guys, new comic book day with Gory J. Uh, a light week, this is the fifth Wednesday of the month, so not a lot came out today, but there is some cool things that did come out, so let's check out what we got here. Spawn number 277, this is part of the Dark Horror Part 2. Um, very cool cover, very reminiscent of uh, Bill Sinkovich, kind of reminds me of those older New Mutants books that he did. Crosswind number three. This has been a great series so far. Um, Gail Simone's writing it. Basically, Freaky Friday meets Goodfellas. You know, something with uh, two characters swap places. You got a um, an unhappy housewife that swaps places, like swaps bodies with the uh, a hitman. Basically, is a hitman. I would say. And, uh, so she's in his shoes and, and vice versa. So, really makes for some, uh, interesting stories. Alright, some DC stuff here. We got Red Hood and the Outlaws, annual number one. Uh, just a, just a good little Batman-related title. Uh, this is the annual. It's got Nightwing in it. So, Scott Lobdell, uh, he's been the writer for Red Hood for quite some time. Old 90s X-Men writer. He's been around for a while. All-Star Batman number 13. This is the next to last issue. Uh, part of the first ally storyline, which is uh, very Alfred-centric. Beautiful Wonder Woman Jenny Friesen cover number 29. Just love these covers. And uh, good stories, too. Good Wonder Woman stuff. And since it's been... This is wrapping up August. The last Wednesday in August. And it's going to wrap up the... Uh, Kirby 100th birthday special for DC and Marvel. Uh, you got the Black Racer and Shiloh Norman, number one. Don't really know much about these characters. I think Shiloh Norman is supposed to be Mr. Miracle in this. And um, the Black Racer, don't really know a lot about him, but I, from what I read in the Justice League series right before New 52 ended with the Dark Side War, he was uh, seems like a pretty cool character. So that's why I picked this up. And uh, speaking of Dark Side, Dark Side number one, Oversight Special number one. This also includes an OMAC short story. Uh, this was one that I definitely wanted to get just because he's such a cool DC villain celebrating Kirby's 100th birthday. Okay, on to some more Kirby goodness. You got True Believers Iron Man. This is a reprint of an old Iron Man story. Only a buck. Another one for a dollar, Ant-Man and the Wasp. A couple of reprints in this book. The uh, origin of Hank Pym and then, I guess, Wasp's first appearance. I guess both of their first appearances are in this book. Um, this wraps up the Kirby Marvel part for his 100th birthday and all these True Believers books. So, very cool stuff. Alright, and on to Marvel. Star Wars Mace Windu, Jedi of the Republic, number one. Um, not a huge Mace Windu fan. I don't know if it's just because, I mean, I, Sam Jackson just is so, so all over the place and he's like in everything. So I guess I'm kind of burnt out of Sam Jackson. Very cool actor, but I just, I don't know. It's just, he's all, he's in like in everything, anything that's got any kind of geek related movie or, you know, any, anything like that. He's just, he's all over it. Marvel stuff. Um, of course, the Star Wars, and then all this, uh, everything else he's been in. It's just, he's all over the place. But I don't have nothing against him. But anyways, the, the character of Mace Windu in the, in the, in the Star Wars movies, the prequels, I just didn't care for him very much. He's really kind of a, a an asshole, honestly. And, uh, I just it really never cared for him. <laughs> Saying that, you're like, well, why do you even buy this book? I just wanted to get it, give it a shot. It's a Star Wars number one. I love Star Wars, so I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know if I'm going to get the whole series. It's just a limited series, so I'm going to test it out and see. Now, a book that I do like, Star Wars number 35, Jason Aaron. You got Han Solo, Chewie, and uh, that's not Jabba. That is another HUD. I can't. I don't know if it revealed his name last issue, but they are smuggling him, or he. I don't know if they've caught him as a bounty. I can't remember. They showed up 
the very end of the last issue. So and I, that's pretty. I like that cover. It's pretty awesome. X Men Blue number ten. This is a. It looks like they're in a story with uh, magic, like um, the Beast is. Trying to learn um, doctor, like magic, sorcerer type things that he picked up from Doctor Strange. Um, Arthur Adams cover. Of course, uh, he's a big deal right now as far in the YouTube community and comic book community. Uh, so if you're into Arthur Adams stuff, go ahead and get X-Men Blue number 10. Also a fun book to read too. And speaking of X-Men and Doctor Strange, you've got... Jean Grey number six. I'm assuming that's Doctor Strange. Uh, she's been having, like every issue, she has another, another Marvel character guest starring in it. So that she's been trying to come to terms, I think, with the fact that she will one day be the Phoenix and how to um, manage that and how to deal with that, and keep it under control. So it's been an okay book. Deadpool number 35, this Secret Empire tie-in. This is the last issue of the Secret Empire tie-ins for Deadpool. Uh, one more issue after this, and then Despicable Deadpool begins when they go back to the Legacy renumbering, I guess in October. Uh, the latest generations book, Hawkeye and Hawkeye, The Archers. Um, these have been good books. Heard a lot of good stuff about this one. There's, I'm hearing that this has been the best one. Each one, each issue has been fun, been a good, good one-shot story. I um, highly recommend these. And finishing up, Secret Empire, this is number 10. You got Captain America and his war armor, or I don't know what they're calling that, but this wraps up Secret Empire. There is going to be a Secret Empire Omega issue that I'll probably tie up some loose ends maybe, but this is the big finale, so looking forward to reading this. A mixed bag for, for in the community as far as the story goes, but uh, overall I've enjoyed it, and um, I, I recommend it. I, I would re definitely check this out. All right, guys, that's all I got this week. Um, I'll see everybody again next week, and we'll probably have a bigger haul going because it's a uh, first Wednesday of September. So, anyhow, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you later.